Why, over a standing kilometre, would you pitch a 550 kilo supercharged aerial atom against a two-ton Porsche Panamera Turbo S? Because it's intriguing, that's why. Can the atom scamper to enough of an advantage before its less-than-slippery aerodynamics start to kick in? Let's find out. Three, two, one, go! Little beats large. The Atom did all its damage on the way to 100 miles an hour. To launch it, you need to select second gear because it has short enough gearing and plenty of torque. Bring the revs up to just over 3000 RPM and then bring the clutch up quickly. Then you're looking for the rev limit at about 8400 RPM and trying to change gear as quickly as possible. The Atom reaches 60 miles an hour in 3.25 seconds but it's the 0 to 100 mile an hour time of 7.07 seconds that feels really crazy, as you're just throwing gears at it with barely enough time to put your left hand back on the wheel in between shifts. The Panamera Turbo S isn't initially as far behind as you might think. To launch, it couldn't be easier. Simply select Drive and Sports Plus, then hold it on the brakes while pushing the throttle pedal into the carpet. The revs stabilise and it then sprints off the line when you take your left foot away. 60 miles an hour is then dispatched in a blistering 3.66 seconds, just 0.4 seconds slower than the Atom. By 100 miles an hour, it's another second behind, however, having hit the ton in 8.45 seconds. From there on in, though, the Super Saloon is gaining all the way, reaching 150 miles an hour 0.3 of a second faster than the now almost wrung out Atom. It's close, but the aerial is almost at the line by the time it reaches its 150 miles an hour and wins, but by less than a second. Somerset beats Stuttgart, but both go away with their heads held high. For more battles, remember to come back each Wednesday, or even better, just subscribe to the channel.